This river is something I've always wanted to conquer and today's my one opportunity to do that. This series has been on my video drawing board for the past three years of me doing YouTube. It's like, I want to get out and I want to fish the Cahaba. Growing up, I'd always hear stories about the Cahaba River. Also, I've been going to go catch spotted bass and just big largemouth bass out of the river, three, four pounders, two, three pound spotted bass. And it's just, it's so, it's unheard of to me at the point, because at that time, because I've never done anything like that. I've never been able to go catch bass, period, anywhere. So, but one thing that I've learned as I've grown older is that the river is something that needs to be respected 100%. That's a natural resource for us here that if we don't take care of it and love it while it's here, we won't have it in the future. So that's a big part of the reason why I wanna go and do this now. Just the views and scenery, just being able to go out and see the river in its natural light, natural glory, natural beauty. You gotta think about how many people actually probably touch this river. 150 miles of this river and probably 20 miles of it get fished often. And that's just the stretches where there's a bridge that you can put in and take out. But I mean, you, the opportunities are endless with this thing. Like spotted bass, largemouth bass, Cahaba bass, carp, lots of carp from what I hear, guard, literally anything that is in the state of Alabama, the Cahaba probably holds it. Like you just never know, every day, every trip to the Cahaba could be a totally different trip, totally different experience. The scenery could be totally different. You could be looking at 100 foot rock walls in one stretch, then you could be on a sandy beach in the next thinking that you're in the Gulf. It's, it's just one of those things that the opportunities are endless and it's something that I've always wanted to do. I'm in there. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Have we never met are, before? Are we, are we rolling is it, now? Is this, this is John. We're here at the beautiful Cahaba and we're gonna get on some bass today. Dude, it looks awesome out here. Driving in, I couldn't wait to just stop and get out and start fishing. Yeah, but, dude, we were looking at you in the rear view and like I saw your passenger <laughs> window down and like. <laughs> I'm just like staring. I thought I was gonna run into you. I'm just like staring all the time at the river. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nice. Yeah. It's pretty nice. And we're super excited for it because this is like three years in the making kind of. So. Yeah, well, thanks for inviting me down for this. I know it's a big thing you've been trying to do. Yeah, I'm a pond lake guy, and like I was like, who's a good person that can come do this with me? And met you at the classic, and it was yeah. like, John yeah, it worked out perfectly. Yeah. River floats are like my favorite thing to do now. Just yeah. floating. We're going five miles, you said. Yeah. And you just get to go through the most beautiful area, fish for fish that don't get fished for. Yeah. Um, nobody's out here except for you know one guy on fly fishing, like they're yeah. going to catch anything. I mean, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. I think that's a perfect intro. For the man behind the camera. <laughs> Whoever. Yeah, yeah, who am I gonna have to blur this out? <laughs> no, no, you're good. Yeah, who catches anything fly fishing? Yeah. yeah. Uh, ben is the one that catches all the fly fishing fish. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for inviting me down. Yes, man. this is Ben Dorsal Outdoors. Um, and we're gonna get on some fish today. He's behind the camera, but hopefully we'll be able to, he'll just throw me the camera mid video. And <laughs> I reached out to Ben on an Instagram DM out on the limb, like, hey, do you know anything about the cob? I wanna do a series. We went and had a little coffee meeting and he thought I was just trying to pick his brain when I actually wanted him to like film and kind of help with it, so. Yeah, yeah well, I'm, I'm excited to get after it. I think one of the coolest things we're gonna see is, you know, the Cahaba River is really known for its biodiversity. There's yeah. more species in this river than there are in the state of California when it comes wow. to aquatic wildlife. <laughs> um, so fish, you know, amphibians, all that kind of stuff. So there's so much more than just the fishing, but let's be real, you gotta get some fish. Yeah, yeah. it's gonna be fun. I'm gonna it's get back be behind fun. the camera. Okay. So. Um, you wanna go first? I, yeah, I know you, you've been hyping it up, and but not trying not to hype it up too much. Yeah. And then we met some guides here and they're like, y'all gonna catch fish. So yeah. now I'm like, I'm just expecting to fish every cast. Yeah. I know that's not realistic, <laughs> but I definitely want to get some uh, some nice uh, Alabama bass mm -hmm. and I get a Cahaba bass because I don't think I've ever caught one of those. Yeah. If we can get on some like big swim bait fish today, that'd be yeah, The water is clear, shallow, rocky, like the fish could come out of anywhere. Yeah. So that's, uh, I'm excited just to start looking. I like just look around yeah. without even casting, just to see what's out there, see what the fish are doing. Yeah. And they soak all that in along with the noises, the sounds, the water flowing. Then there's a good chance we might see Bigfoot today. Couple. 
A couple yeah. of them? Yeah, or big feet. Okay. Yeah, I think that's how you, they do like you that. see the species of them, big feet. So, I saw one driving in. So, all right, you ready? You ready to catch them? I'm ready to catch them. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Come on! <laughs> yeah, fish on. Uh, yeah, I got tired of waiting around, so I made a couple casts. <laughs> Basically, we were taking too long and we missed out on the fun. Yeah. <laughs> so if we can catch them off the bank, hopefully we can catch them off the kayak. Yeah. So, but yeah, he's probably about 13 incher. He hammered it, but I love his Alabama bass. They're so strong. Such fun river fish. Yeah, dude, I look down from up there, your rod just bent over. Dude, I'm like, dude, I think he has one. These, these bite twice as hard as a largemouth. Chest we're gonna do, we're gonna do arm lock. Yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Woo, just dropped 20, baby. <laughs> awesome. We're not even in the water yet. Yeah. yeah. And we're All right, I'll stop casting. There we go. Yes. Dude, they are fired up when they hit. That's a nice bass. That's a nice. Oh, yeah. Another one about the same size. Number two off the hugger mite. Man, these are healthy looking fish, too. be all over i think there's so many fish in here it's gonna be like that all day but i don't know a lot of times i'll start out really good and it just goes away fast huge spot somebody's got to catch like a four pounder or something i want something awesome it's a big carp I mean, I wouldn't consider anything out for a little bit. Just float a little bit, go through a few different lures. Okay. I really want to throw this chopo over some of these, like yeah. to the right over here. That's what I'm trying to fish these little crevices here, see if anything's in them. Okay. You're throwing some top water. Larry's throwing some top water. I've thrown a spinner bait. I don't really ain't got any hits. We haven't got any hits off of moving stuff yet. Yeah. So All I in think the net? they might come alive. Yeah. Work that, let it just sit there for a little bit. Okay. They're picking it up after it's like sat for a few seconds, so. Dude, Sorry, Larry. Dude, you literally caught that off the back of my kayak. I told you to cast over here. I'm gonna cut your line the next one you catch. Man, there's a lot of fish in here. Okay, Oh, sorry, sorry about that. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, what he just told me to do is just give up <laughs> and go back to the truck. It ain't gonna happen for you today. <laughs> that is big in. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. It's gonna be a. Oh, hey. a three pounder. <laughs> that is a nice one. Oh, don't come off, don't come off. <laughs> oh, That's a good dude. one to cut your line for, right? That is nice. Oh man, that is a really nice one. <laughs> Goodness.
We should have had a lithium battery sponsor for this video so we could cut, I could catch some. <sighs> I feel like he's back there still catching them. Uh, I see a lot of rocks. Why are you working that area so slow? Uh, cause that's what you told me to do. You said slow. Huh? Do you have a fish on? Just came back for it. He little one, just little one. I think that's one I lost a second ago. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It's definitely going a lot slower for me than it is for John. I just watched John catch a three and a half pounder while I'm over here struggling to catch anything. Um, I did have a follower, but Ben told me that doesn't count. So I haven't done anything so far. I'm probably gonna change up my lure. I think he's throwing a little bit darker of a lure than I am. We saw a crawl on the way in here this morning. It kind of matched this little hot crawl that I'm throwing right here, but I don't think this is gonna work for us today. So we might tie on like a little general or like a little stick bait presentation instead of a little crawl. We're gonna try it, switch it up a little bit. <laughs> might drop some tears. I don't want to break this off because I don't want to mess up that spot or dirty up the river, but John just caught a big one out of that pool over there, so I might have to come mess up his spot. I got a big one, yeah, it's another big one. He took off. Man. Oh, yeah, that's another nice too. one right there. He had me in the current and he just, these things when they're hitting, they're just like taking off like a rocket. I'm gonna need you to slow it down. I'm waiting for you to get in front of me. You're taking too long. Let's go. I can't slow down now. I'm usually the slowest fisherman. You're slower than me. Yeah, dude, I'm just trying to take it all in. This is my first time like actually being able to make it down this far. I will sit right here and just look at the water for an hour. <laughs> dude, there's a whole, I don't know what, are these the darters that we were talking about maybe? You see, can you see them? That's a good one. <laughs> Nothing crazy. <laughs> Get him, Larry. Not a bad one. We're going to hand land you. Boat flip. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, there's one following it. There's two, there's four, there's five of them following it. It's one of your fish. Carp. Oh, dude. <laughs> Need a net? Uh, nah. Oh, I do not want this in the kayak with me. But I mean, good fight. Sometimes it's not all about what it is. Sometimes it's just about catching one. Okay. Can you lip a carp? I don't need, I don't know if I've even ever hung. Just grab it. Just grab it. It's about as big as my hand is. I'm trying to figure out how to hold it. Oh, hit him with one of these. That's the right answer. There we go. <laughs> uh, not really too much to say about it other than cool. I mean, come here for bass, catch carp. <laughs> It's cool though, you know. Cross another one off the species list. Good, can I let it go please? <laughs> hey John, right here around this corner, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a couple of lilies if we don't pass it up. <laughs> Thank you.
Dude, this is what I'm talking about right here. The lilies. The best part <laughs> of like the whole river, in my opinion. Cause it's one of the, well, the fish is pretty good. We have had decent fishing, but like this is actually my first time ever seeing them. Like I've been coming down here for about a year and I didn't know when they like bloomed or spawned. So uh, they're here now. And here in probably two or three weeks, this whole bed that we're right here on will be just covered in these things. So they're protected. I don't want to get too close cause I feel like, you know. What are they called? Cahaba lilies. But the scientific name we'll have to get from Ben because I haven't made it that far in my education yet. But they're not just native to the Cahaba. They're also, where, where else can you find them? You can find them in the Coosa drainage. So, you know, if you're gonna be super technical, they're a shoal lily, but I like the ring of a Cahaba lily. So yeah, I'm we claim them here. We claim them down here. <laughs> oh man, this is my first time I've ever seeing these. It's cool that they're like protected, so I don't want to get like too close, you know, because I know I'm pretty clumsy. I'll end up falling over on the whole patch of them. But it's pretty cool just being able to come up to them because I've been trying to look for these things. I actually lived right down the road for a year and I would drive down here once a week looking for them. But I guess I started on Father's Day since they supposedly only bloom from Mother's Day to Father's Day. So I must have started like directly on Father's Day when they were all gone because I used to come down here in hopes like maybe they'll be here. <laughs> like dead of winter, like oh, December yeah. 25th. <laughs> Coming down here looking for these. But it's cool to finally find a patch and then also to have you down here and we're actually catching some fish and like having a pretty decent time. So it's all, you know, it's coming full circle. It's doing pretty good. I'm super excited to be able to finally see these. Yeah, if we were we were a few days earlier, we might not have even seen these. So yeah. it's really cool just to get to see them. Yeah, because Dude, I wanted, like we talked about you coming down last week, but it yeah, worked out perfect right. if you came down this week because these might have not been here yeah. if you weren't here all, like today. Or if we came down last week, might have still been bulbs. But here in a couple of weeks, this whole thing just <clears throat> cahaba lily, cahaba lilies, plural. You wanna go catch more fish? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, I've been fishing this hole for. Woo! <laughs> Back Woo! at ya. Yeah! <laughs> All right, another spot. We gotta find that Cahaba. by these Cahaba lilies and like this is something that I've had on my little dream board in my room for literally three years like I was living in Oxford and I've watched like a couple other series on YouTube of guys that have done the similar thing and like oh here's a fish oh, pause that <laughs> oh let it go but I've watched a lot of similar videos of people that have done hey there he is a lot of similar videos of guys that have done like similar creek floats or river floats or stuff like this and I kind of got inspired. Yeah, this is super cool. It's something that's just been on my bucket list for, like I said, three years and being able to come out here with Ben and John and actually, you know, hammer them and have a pretty good day. It's been, it's been pretty fun so far.
Dude, there's so many fish in here. Oh, it's a nice one. Oh, I wish I had my camera pointing down right here. It's clear water. That's a good one. Oh, man. Uh, well, maybe there are a few bigger ones in here. Yes. 15 minutes, keep catching fish. I feel like I keep upgrading too. We're both like catching fish. We're watching the guys down there catch fish. Love it. This is my favorite type of thing to do. Yeah. And to do it with other people that enjoy it. Some people don't enjoy this. Like yeah. all the little things. Like I, I, I'm so glad you like wanted to stop and look at that because I love all the nature things that Dude, I would, come with this type of fishing. I will sit right here on, in the water. Like legit, I will sit here on my butt and just sit here. We can stay here all day and never get to the end. And... So I wanted to take some to my mom, but these lilies are actually protected. I can't take them from the river because probably go to Big Bull Joe for that. So there's this pretty cool girl named MB and she does like block prints of the lilies. And she does like all the different species of fish found in Alabama, like fresh and salt water. And I want to get her to do a block print that I can give to my mom for Mother's Day since Mother's Day is here coming up soon. That's a really good idea. Yeah. So I think we're going to do that. Um, we're going to leave these here, but we're going to go to her studio and get like a block print. And it's just kind of one of those absolutely Alabama things. But yeah, um, we're gonna go check out MB and maybe even get a little quick tour of her studio, maybe. After leaving the Cahaba, I told everybody about the lilies. I couldn't stop thinking about them. I have lived in Alabama for 21 years, have known about the lilies for probably about eight or nine, and just finally got to see them for the first time. And I really wanted to share it with my mom. My mom is the type of lady that loves to be outside. You know, me and my mom used to take long road trips, nine o'clock at night, go get slushies and come back home, drive 45 minutes away, just go explore. So my mom's a big explorer, but I don't know if I can get on a kayak to go with me to see the lily so I was we can't take the lilies away from the river since they're protected and we want to leave them be where they're at so I was thinking found this girl on Instagram MB we're here at her studio today and she makes these really cool block prints of the lilies and some of the fish species that are local to Alabama so we're here I want to get one of these made for my mom and take it to her for Mother's Day because Mother's Day is literally in six days and this is the earliest I've ever been buying a present or getting a present from my mom. So I'll be able to give my mom a Cahaba Lily, kind of, sort of. <laughs> hey! <laughs> How are you? <laughs> yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good! Oh my gosh, it's so nice to meet you. We're excited. We're yeah, so excited. Come in. Thank come you. In. <laughs> Did you get fishing done this morning? Didn't go this morning, but going after. Well, yeah, the weather. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's awesome. awesome. <laughs> it's great for it. Okay, you're going to have to go under. Okay, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and so you saw some Cahaba lilies? Yes, I did. You did? Oh my God. First time. First time. Yeah. And what did you think? They're awesome. You, they're beautiful, yeah. aren't they? Aww. Awesome. Good. Good, good, good. All right, so. Mother's Day? Mm -hmm. Mother's Day is coming up. Okay, tell Couldn't me about take your them. mom. So she loves the outdoors, uh -huh. but I'm not sure if I could get her on a kayak to go see the lilies. <laughs> it's okay. So I figured okay. that's why we came, that's why we would come here. Okay. Because you're the best thing to be able to bring the lilies can... away from the river without actually bringing the lilies Okay, away from the so river. question, how much more meaningful would it be if you made them instead of me? Would that be good? Yeah, okay, be awesome. okay. I'm gonna cut but I, you. Yeah, that's what okay, I would need you to like do it first because <laughs> mine probably would not look right. I'm not gonna be like create something. I'm gonna help you. Okay. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love I love doing stuff. Like I like to make fishing lures and stuff at home. So, okay, like, this good. Is awesome, oh, you've got an artsy side. Mm -hmm. All right. 
All right, so I'm gonna help you. We're gonna make her beautiful, beautiful block thread of the Cahaga Lilies. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna get all the ink out for you, and then we're gonna mix it up, okay? Okay. So, maybe we should have this. This is awesome. Oh, you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> all right, so. So this is block printing ink, and it dries really, really fast once you get it on this. Okay. Um, but we don't use it like block printing. We use it like paint, because I like to paint. So the ink, like, is it more for, like, dyeing, yeah. so like, clothes, or? What, what you're supposed to use it with, and what I sometimes use it with, is, like, you're just supposed to put, like, a thin layer on here, mm -hmm. and roll it like that, and then roll it on there. But I use paintbrushes, because I'm a rule breaker. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way to do it. That's the way you should be. <laughs> All right, so <clears throat> I don't like to go with the basic colors. I like to add, make it a little bit more custom. This is so cool. I can't wait for you to do this. This is like on my lifetime bucket list to be able to like. <laughs> Well, don't let this be the only time you do this. Come back anytime. This is so cool. All right, I'm going to just show up randomly. Hey, <laughs> three o'clock in the morning. Knock on the door. <laughs> knock on the door and come on in. I'm serious. Excuse me. I would love we? to have you out anytime you want to come out. Is that ink also? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is all ink. Some of it's just in tubes and then some of it's... Okay, so you're going to take this and we're going to mix a little bit of this, a little bit of this into this green and just work it around until you get like a good color. Okay. And I'm going to help you. Okay. I'm going to be like, you know what? That's great. Just so take just a little bit. Yeah, mix it in the green. You cannot can mess I, this up. Okay. Cool. You cannot mess it up. Do some of this one yeah. also? Yeah, oh, go for it. Okay. We're going to give it more of like a moss green. Okay. And just, you can't mess this up, Larry. All right, you can't mess it up. See, I feel like I'm spreading it too no, far. No, no, no. Mm -mm. You can't spread it too far. You could spread it all over this. Okay. We're very laid back in this art process. Awesome. See, my art teachers in school, they were always like, Ooh. They were always like, hey, if you don't do it right. No, no, no. I don't do yeah. any of this right. Awesome. Okay. So you're in the right place. All right. Well, I'm going to stop complaining about it. We're just going to no, get to just it. just have fun. Come over here. You keep doing that here. I'm going to check out. So what is that? Or is that too much information? No. This okay. is the block. So this is like what I start like, um, let me show you. So I'll start with like, I get it in, it'll be like flat like this. It's like a sheet of rubber. Mm -hmm. And so I use these little tools and carve all those little lines. Gotcha. And um, so then it'll make the image, which it doesn't, it looks not so great right there. But my favorite thing about this is after you put the ink on and you lay the paper on top, when you peel the paper off, mm -hmm. it makes the art. Gotcha. So that's my favorite part of it. I'm gonna get you, you take this and you're going to put some of that and you're going to just paint the green parts. And don't okay. worry about these. We'll use a different brush for the tiny parts. Okay. And just brush. And if you get it on this, don't worry about it. We'll wipe it off okay. before we put the white on there. Don't worry if you get over those lines because okay. we can wipe it off, okay? All right. <laughs> and again, you cannot mess this up. It's art. It's really smooth going on, isn't yeah. it? Larry, the older, you get, older you get, the older you get, enjoy it while you can, Larry. <laughs> You're doing so good. I mean, <laughs> he's doing so good, he does better than I do. I'm so messy with this, Larry. Or if it's got ink where it's not supposed to, you made it. Yep. All that I'm supposed mm -hmm. to do with this one? Yeah, you Amazing. can do that. Doing and then we're going to take... All right, so you can put that one down. God, you already did so good. Thank and you. And take this, and you're going to do more green on these little tiny stalks. Okay. Like right here. I mean... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Is this a... You're like... Okay, so you can do that tiny part, which I never do, but you're okay. doing so good. Go for it. Okay. I mean, really? Okay, put that down. You're like, okay, awesome. this is going so much better than I could have ever done. All right. You doubted so, me before I even stepped in the room. Happy, happy. <laughs> okay, so that's not true. I did not doubt you. All right, so the white, 
gets a little like when it starts getting sticky like that mm -hmm. and it's not like really running very well like the green ink was really fluid this is kind of not as much i'll put like a little bit of water into it gotcha. and just make it kind of look like that so take this and you're going to just keep doing that mm -hmm. and put all the white on the lily gotcha. and we'll go back with the yellow and gold this is so cool I'm so glad you like it. The lilies have a little bit of green in them, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah. Little bit. I, listen, when I do this, all my lilies have green in them. So you're doing you're doing so good. Okay, while you do that, do you think she would want it printed on white paper or black paper? Ooh. Oh, ooh. Oh, you're Sorry. Totally you're, uh, <laughs> you're totally fine. I'd say white. Okay, I'm that's like white. what I, All right. All right. You're doing so good. Okay, take <laughs> this one and then just get those little pieces. And White still? Mm-hmm. We're gonna use that same paintbrush in just a second. Okay. So I'll usually do the yellow in the center of the open ones, mm -hmm. and if they're like that or like this, I'll put them in the bottom and spread it out. But you cannot mess this up. Okay. You cannot <laughs> mess it up. You can't. There's no messing this so up. So just like mm -hmm. go with just the line? Just sweep it up. Mm -hmm. Like that? Yes! Okay. Keep going. If you want it more yellow, use more yellow. If you like the gold, go for the gold. The thing I love about this is like, do you remember when you were little and you would put like gobs of paint on a piece of paper and yeah. you would fold it up and open it? Yeah. That's what this does. Yeah. It acts different every single time you do it. This brown? Mm -hmm. Okay. And you just put it like right here on the roots and... Okay! Awesome. All right, you done. Okay, so... Then I just eyeball it, make sure it didn't move, you know, while we were kind of inking it, because okay. you want it to be even on both sides. So you have to flip that, or we're just gonna press that one on top. That's it. Okay. okay. I was like, Ooh, we have to flip those. So what you do, I'm gonna show you and then I'm gonna let you do it. Okay. Okay, because this is your work. Okay? okay. So I'll start over here and line up the corners like that, and then you just lay it like, or you can do it like this. That might be easier. Okay. And just lay it all down. Okay. Okay. No, yeah. I'm just making sure it's still wet, so then when you pull it up, it's still green. I love how so motivational she was, but like she's just <laughs> done. Just step aside for a second. Yeah. Hold on. You said it was perfect, but it hey, is. you missed the spot. I'm, well, I'm not changing anything. I'm just making sure. All right, so go for it. Good. Yes. And then just Drop lay it, it down. There you go. And, and press then it. press it. Yep. Put your hands all over it. You can't mess it up. Press it, press it. And then I usually use this tool and just go over it like in circles. You can kind of feel where that ink is already like attached to the paper. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then that's, that's money. Okay. You did so good. Thank Larry, you. Thank that's you. amazing. Look at this. So I like how it has like the root and everything. Yeah, too. oh like, yeah, you like, get the lines, everything. Yeah. And the white's really light on the paper, but you like it, you can see the impressions of yeah. it. It's so good. It's like you just caught like a six and a half, <laughs> and it just jumped for the first time. You're like, oh my gosh! <laughs> Mindy and I wouldn't mm -hmm. know what that means. No, no. We're Wait, more of like two pound large. Well, I did catch an eight pound hybrid yesterday. Really? Striper hybrid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, this is my favorite part. Okay. I say that about every part, but they're all my favorite. So, this is metallic watercolor. Get a little water on it, and if you want some like gold, let me take a couple of things, get some watercolor to kind of loosen up. Just go on top of wherever you want to add some, some details. Okay. It's totally up to you where you want them. <laughs> you cannot, we can add water to it. We can. So with this, do you ever get to a point where you're like, eh, I don't like this one at all. Oh, you have over. no idea, Larry. You have no idea. See, your brush strokes just look so much better than mine do. Like those that's are not, just. That's not true. Oh no, I've gotten to like the very end, like and everything's perfect. And then I mess up writing the title. Oh. <laughs> that's the worst. You should start a class. I would look people, so people will probably kill to do this because this is. So you think so? Yeah, it's hundred percent. Really? You guys, if you're interested in something, there's okay. a million other people that are interested in it too, but okay. they just don't know they're they interested in it. Interested. And there's a million people that love you, they just don't know that they love you. Oh, we need. So, we should do like a dual class. 
Yeah, I'll teach like the beginner, beginner, <laughs> and you teach like yeah. the people that are actually you can into and be the like, art. You know what? You can do this, guys. I did this. You know? I think that you can be the cheerleader. I can be the teacher. And then especially coach. where we're at. I can be the coach. You can be the cheerleader. Yeah, I'm down. Okay. I'm down. Yeah, let's go. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> or right. like, I'll serve the wine. Like, I'll bring okay. the wine. Okay. I'll bring <laughs> the bottle of the wine. You can serve the wine and be the cheerleader at the same time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This so. Is this it? Ta-da! Yeah, but you have to put an addition number because this is your addition. Ooh, you have to put a title on it. Okay. And you have to sign it. You have okay. to sign it. Yeah, we're gonna run with that. Mother's Day, Lily's 2020. Yeah. So this took me, like if I were to come in and do this, this mm. would have taken me at least like 20 tries to do this. Really? You have a gift. Oh, like, try. that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so good. So what size, like, piece of paper is it? It's 11 by 14. 11 I'm going to give 14. you something to put it in. Okay. So you can give it to her, and it's, like, taken care of, and it's protected, and it looks super, super awesome. professional. And I'll give you a card to go with it that kind of explains how you made it. Okay. Yeah. So when you uh, went out that day, you saw some lilies. Yep. And so this kind of put the idea in your head to do this for your mom yep. for Mother's Day. Um, did you get to fish any? Yes. Or did you go straight for the lilies? So, saw the lilies, kind of got a little sidetracked for the first hour or so of the <laughs> no. day. Had, <'cause laughs> Not I'm, Larry. No, never, never. <laughs> Not Larry. I, yeah. I, I've been looking for those lilies. I live probably 15 minutes from the river, mm -hmm. and I was going down like dead of December, mm -hmm. middle of June, July, just looking for them, and right. they were never there. Uh -huh. So, being able to finally like come up on some and be able to be right there beside kind them was magical. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what about the fish? What kind of fish did you catch? All spots. All spots. You didn't say Cahaba bass? I did not. There are Larry. so many species in the Cahaba. There are so spots many. Spots in a carp. Okay, <laughs> so what? how much would you love to catch a Cahaba bass? Definitely on the list. Mm -hmm. Definitely on the bucket list for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. So, um, let me ask you a question, Larry. Okay. Do you have a fly rod? I have a pink fly rod. 40 bucks at Cabela's. You do? Have you ever... Did you... Because you know you have to do this on a fly rod. Okay. <laughs> okay. We can make that work. We'll but make I it have, work. Listen, I have the flies. Okay. I have everything we need. As okay. long as you have a fly rod, we can make this happen. Okay. okay. Awesome. Challenge okay. accepted? Challenge accepted. Let's do it. Okay. All right. I'll we'll sneak a spinning then. rod in my back pocket oh, just no, in no, case. Because no, no, no. if y'all no, start no, whooping no. up on me, I'm not, I'm not no, standing no, no. there. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. We're going to leave that in the car. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pure... Fly fishing. Okay, let's try it. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's supposed to be here by now. Where is he? So probably that's the worst prank of all time. Ah! I'm the guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright man. Good, Good how are you? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm your guy. You're my guy. Yeah, I uh, actually we're have no idea if we're in frame right now, so. Uh, I obviously love to fly fish. I kind of told you and John that when we mm -hmm. did the first episode. Uh, but the game plan today is to take you fly fishing. Like MB told you, like, if you're gonna do the Cahaba bass, you got to do fly fishing. Okay. So um, the game is we're going to be using a fly rod, which is going to allow us to use smaller presentations, okay. which doesn't mean we're catching smaller fish, just means smaller presentations. Sometimes um, that can be better for fish, especially if yeah. they're used to seeing Ned rigs and yeah. Senkos and whatnot. Yeah. A little fly could be um, the way to go. Yeah, and, and you never know what they're feeding on. You know, it's obviously, some, obviously summer, so you know, they could be feeding on bait fish, but they could also be feeding on bugs. So um, my hope is that you'll you'll feel inspired with this fly fishing thing okay. um, and, and see that it kind of fits. But yeah, and we're going to sell all my regular stuff and just buy fly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I don't mean happen. like trash your followers from. Uh... That's OK, because I've been practicing my. my... <laughs> that buggy whip? Yeah. <laughs> the... And not piercing my ears with the flies. OK, it's the little things. Yeah, it's the little things. But yeah, I'm going to literally try to guide you Okay. and film at the same time. Okay. Like I've done it before. It kind of works. It kind of doesn't. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, I, I, I did come bearing gifts, so that's the good news, is uh, got you a, make sure you're starting off right, 
got you a bath rod. Okay. To make sure you are feeling the good vibes. So this is a um, Reddington seven weight. Okay. So. so the idea here is a seven weight. So like for trout, mm -hmm. we use like four to five weights because they are a weaker species. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> um, for bass, we like a seven to eight weight so you can throw bigger um, flies and um, you know yank them out of the the, the uh, sticks when they're they're going for it. So One, when they eat it, do I have a how's my hook set? I like strip and set. Yeah, strip, strip and set. set. Strip so set. so it's it's um, we'll we'll kind of walk you through it. But you know when you see them eat, like if we're, we're going to try to throw some top water early and then mix okay. into some other patterns. Um, but yeah, you're going to strip it. You're going to see that eat, and you just like with bass fishing with a regular rod, you want you know, that hook set. Mm -hmm. Now with a fly rod, because the line is loose in your hands, if you just do the set right here, it just moves the rod. It doesn't move the line. So yeah. you gotta have that line. So if, uh, if you're going for it, you strip a little bit this way and mm -hmm. at the same time, bah! Separate. Yeah, gotcha. you can think about it like, you know, you know, a bill dance is here, mm -hmm. fly rod, you get to do both hands. Bam! Gotcha. And really, and, and set those things home. <laughs> gotcha. um, but when we get to like subsurface, that's when you're gonna do what we call a strip set. We're gonna be pull, pull, pull. You feel a bite and just jam it home. Okay. Because bass, we love them for this, and, and they're like saltwater species. If you miss them on that strip set, mm. they're so pissed that you ripped it out of their mouth, they'll come back and grab it, yeah. right? But if you fully strip, you know, we call it trout setting. Yeah. We go all the way up, the, the bug will just fly out, and they'll be like, where did it go? Yeah. So, okay. um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited if you take a crack at this. Well, okay. It's like an all-in-one kind of thing. So you've got the reel, you've got the rod, you've Need got the knife. pocket knife, and yeah. I'm not a man. Yeah, <laughs> you know how that works, all right. Um, cut away from Larry. I do know some things. My finger? I know, right? It's like a you know, line like the other you know, way. Man. Yeah. Yeah. It's just it's complicated. Uh, yeah, I bring the complicated fly rod, you bring the complicated, complicated knife. knife. But yeah, so you've got, so just, just for the fun primer of fly fishing, so you've got, take all this crap off. So fly reel. Yep. Now the weird thing here is that if you notice it, you're like, that's a one-to-one -one reeling ratio. That's mm -hmm. not what we talk about in spin fishing, right? Yeah. Uh, most context, until we get into salt water, this is just gonna be holding your line. This okay. is a storage device that actually doesn't do much. Okay, um, well that's fair. I'm happy we announced that, because yeah. that's always what I say. It's like, people buy these expensive reels and they just hold the line. Yeah, yeah. Now, if you get down to salt water, if you're thinking like bonefish, tarpon, um, sometimes redfish, black drum, this all of a sudden becomes your secret weapon for fighting because they're going to pull out not only the green fly line you see, but this white stuff, which is yeah. backing, which gives you a little more room. Okay. Um, but bass, thankfully, they're more jumpers than they are runners, so we yeah. won't have that problem. Unless you pull what you did in episode one and catch a carp. Okay. Then you're going to need that backing all over again. Cool. Um, well, I'm going for the carp today. But as you've probably you know, experienced with your pink mm. fly rod, right, that tip of a fly rod is really flimsy. Yeah. Okay, and that's because with fly fishing, you're throwing the weight of the line, not the weight of the lure. Yeah. So like, you know, if I'm with you and we're, you know, fishing like a Cinco or um, a buzz bait, right? When I crank back and throw it on a normal rod, I'm trying to get that bait, right? Loading up the rod so that it gets thrown out. Yeah. And it's the weight, right, of the lure that gets casted out. Yeah. Fly fishing's weird. This green line here, that's where the weight is. The actual bug we use, mm doesn't have any weight to it. Gotcha. And so we are gonna cast the weight of the line. So that's why you have that whippy fly motion, right? Okay. It's because you're trying to get all the weight of the line to load the rod up and then snap forward. Okay. Oh, I did forget one thing. It does matter in fly fishing that you have the right things that are imitating food. Okay. So my buddies from North Alabama, Blue Line Fly Company, mm -hmm. they sent us down with the goods. So what's really exciting, I kinda wanna see you as a spin fisherman experience these. So. What would you call that fly? Um, Cause it looks like kind of like a crawfish, right? That's yeah, it has hole. a crawfish imitation. Craw okay, so this is one thing that I like about it already. Uh -huh. It comes with like the weight, so it sits how yeah. like a crawfish does. Yeah. Cause a lot of times like in bass fishing, they don't, yeah. they just kinda. Yeah. I don't name, um, I don't know. They call that the tickle monster. They call that the tickle monster. Tickle monster, okay. <laughs> does that make you feel uncomfortable? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. It sounds like a um, but. We've got then some other fly patterns that are going to look like bait fish. Yeah. We've got some flashy patterns just to try to do, you know, when you do a reaction bite, if you've ever thrown like a fire tiger crank, yeah. right, where you're just trying to piss off a fish, yeah. that's what that is. They got all that lovely flash. Yeah. So we're going to try a bunch of things today, but um, 
you know, Cahaba bass are a um, species of red-eye bass. They're mm. found in this drainage, the Cahaba River drainage, and nowhere else in the world. Oh, we good. love them because they got that blue face paint on their, their on their cheeks, yeah. white edges on their fins. They're usually meaner than spotted bass, which okay. I know spots are mean, but like red eye are meaner. Um, but they live in rivers, so they key on baits that are a little different than bass. So I think I'm thinking today crawfish patterns. Okay. We may try to top water just wake them up a little bit, and okay. then normal stream, streamer bite to try to kind of get them reacting. Is this but, streamer? Is this what you would say? Mm -hmm. streamer? Yeah, okay. yeah. So so streamer. Sorry, just talking like a fly fisherman. So a streamer is something that typically doesn't have a lot of weight, but it's there to imitate a bait fish. Okay. So like this guy. It's like a little shad. Or uh -huh. like a, yeah, okay. you would call it like, I forgot that I'm, I'm remembering my spin fishing days, like a little shad pattern like that. Okay. So the idea is that it's going to hang the water column and look like a bait fish. Okay. And so that's what actually the profile. The profile on is huge. So like, will like a 11, 12 inch bass eat that? Oh yeah, dude, you'll, uh, you'll see some, some little attack this, you know, fish that are the size of the bait will okay. attack this, which is fun. Oh, that's fair. Um, like bass or like regular fish. Yeah. Yeah. Eat. They're just aggressive, right? Yeah. You could throw a 10 XD in this river, which is like a huge crankbait and, and the fish will come eat it. Come eat it. Yeah. yeah. So same thing with fly fishing. Um, and actually this is what's kind of interesting. These streamers are what blue line fly is known for. They, okay. they really wanted to create streamer flies that are good for trout and for bass. And dude, we got, we got the goods. Okay. So, let's do it. Ready to go fishing? Yes, sir. I'm ready. I have to put these in four wheel drive before we start. <laughs> Don't put me on feet finder, please. <laughs> this is my time. I'm on the rise. Can't hold me down. I'm too high. This is my time. Ready to shine. Brighter than all of the lights. Cause when it's so you go over or do you go to the side like that? I like going up. Yeah. And then just kind of like that. Yeah. So that's good. That's really good. Awesome. So how do you get it to stretch out on your, cause like how it all landed on top of each other like mm -hmm. that? Like how do you get it to land straight in the water? So believe it or not, it's more, so when you're, when you're casting, mm -hmm. it's punching out, thumb up. So okay. punching out rather than pushing down with a fly rod, so. Oh, like that. Yeah. I see how it's kind of straightened out. So give it a big pop, see if somebody wants go. to hang with you. Ooh. <laughs> Look at those little guys. Hey, there's actually a get couple it, get behind it. it, dude. Yep. Been here for 10 minutes, have zero fish and three knots. <laughs> That's fly fishing. This is my time. I'm on the rise. There it is. Down, Come down. Yep, you're good. Go over here. Hey, when it's game time, I'm gonna show up every time, baby. Every time. Hey! So you always gotta watch your back cast. Dude, whatever it is, like swam and like touched my leg, and it was it was long, whatever it was. Too high or too. Go. Give it a hard stop at one o'clock. Here you go. There we go. Ooh, was that a hit? No, that was me. Okay. No, it was. Oh. It was a hit. We got. Okay, what do I do with my hands? Pull on the line. <laughs> Pull on the line. <laughs> Ricky Bobby. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> Ouch. What I do with my hand? <laughs> dude, that was so authentic, dude. That, that wasn't a joke. <laughs> oh, uh, let's go. I really had no idea what to do. I stripped it and I was like, what do I do now? Um, where's the hook at on this thing? I don't even know. Where the, is that the top or the bottom? Maybe there. That was a little nice little sunfish. Yeah. All right. Let's see a nice little slow mo. He's pretty. Oh yeah, it's a, yeah, that's longer sunfish, really pretty. Longer sunfish, <laughs> really pretty. <laughs>
Let's see, uh, now let's see that, that technique for a nice slow release like a fly fisherman would. Oh yeah, cradle it, act like it's something really impressive. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this one. And then it swims away and I jump. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. There okay. it is. You back? Oh yeah, we're back. Oh, we are so bad. Look at you that. Can't, I can't do it like, like even when I stop it, it needs to stop like this. Like uh -huh. the butt needs to be parallel with the water uh -huh. when it stops. Uh -huh. More you know. I remember my first day fly fishing. Yeah, literally. <laughs> hey, Michael Jordan had to start somewhere too. That's what they tell you when you start something new. <laughs> you think Michael, Michael Jordan didn't make his middle school basketball team. Michael Jordan was the greatest of all time. He definitely made his middle school <laughs> basketball team. There, that's a lie. Oh. Yes, hit, hit him, hit him, oh. <laughs> You had to like wait for him. <laughs> You're killing me. You're Did, killing me. Did I hit you with it? No, you missed oh. a fish. Yeah, I know, I missed him. I just didn't know what I was supposed to do, dude. Like, do you I have to so, wait for it to go down? Yeah, like, it, no, Cause no, like no. in bass fishing with top water, you wait for him to like take it down no, and then set you, it. You rip their lips. Okay, second he eats it, you set it. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, that guy. <laughs> I heard that. It'd be a beautiful thing to catch on this cast. That didn't feel good. All right. I think we got to head out, man. Uh, are we getting out this way? Yeah. Okay. Go out that way. That's fine. Normally, brothers don't do this type of <laughs> Boy, I tell you. Get to hanging out with Ben in the woods and you just get to climbing up stuff. Uh huh. Like Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Looking for Bigfoot. Yeah. That branch right there to the your right. Right. No. Uh, in the middle. Oh, which one? Well, you're, you're passing that. Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Like coming up out of a hole in the ground. Oh! <laughs> Spider-Man, yeah! What, baby? <laughs> he really wasn't that bad today. We did land a fish. Like for me, that was a personal victory. I just caught something. Um, we saw a few, we didn't see as many as probably we'd like to see, but also the fishing's been tough everywhere down here for the past couple of weeks. So we could just be here on a bad day or at a bad time. Um, so maybe we might wait until like the trees change a little bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe wait until fall. You lie to ourselves and say that's what's going to make it make the fish turn on no nah, but i mean we had we saw we saw a few fish um and had one that i just straight up missed so i'll have to take an l on that one but i mean we'll do it again we're going to do it again we're going to come back and i think we come back to the same spot we do the same stretch and we just try it again because i'm sure they're here we just didn't come at the right time or the right day maybe they're here tomorrow um I will. We will. I will. We will all catch a cob of bass. Me, you, whoever comes with us, we'll all catch a cob of bass. All right, man. So I'm ready to show you. What are you wearing? So I watched the Goofy movie last night, and in the movie, he wore waders when he went fly fishing. So I what? figured it would be best if I wore waders, just because the last outing didn't go as expected. Wait, Maybe. so is this superstition, or are you scared of the water? A uh, mix of both. And then there's a fat sign down there that says, watch for snakes. So I also have muck boots in the bed of my truck. Well, I mean, if there's snakes, there's gonna be bass. You know that. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm not as scared of the snakes, but if I can- But I mean, like, this is- Yeah, and I have the fly pad. Oh, you patch. got the fly pad. I have the fly pad. Okay, too. now I'm convinced. See? But so, so your casting technique is gonna be from the Goofy movie? Yes. Could have watched- he's like- Could have <laughs> watched any YouTube video on a how-to to cast, Yeah. but we went, all right. movie. Yeah. I feel very confident about the day. <laughs> I'm going to break my PB on the right. rod today. So I do have some bad news. Okay. While I was waiting for you to get out of the McDonald's line, I... Uh, shout out McDonald's. You shout out McDonald's. <laughs> I went down to the creek just to make sure it didn't suck. And uh, I caught five fish in a, like a couple seconds. But that right there is a Cahaba bass. So One they're in five. there. Okay, cool. So 
Now we're gonna be in a smaller stretch of water, so the fish are gonna be smaller. No okay. lunkers today. But we're just trying to get, at this point, I just wanna get it done. I yeah. just wanna catch one on the you fly. You wanna catch, a, catch one on the fly, <laughs> catch a cobble. Now the cool part was, is like, they're, like I told you, they're a pretty aggressive species of bass. Okay. So as soon as my fly hit the water. It. Yeah, so you have to be really quick on the hook set because okay. they just, they don't mess around. Gotcha. They're, they're there for food, so. You say you caught five? <laughs> including sunfish? Shh. We respect oh, sunfish. Sorry. At Doors All Outdoors, we okay. respect something. Okay. That's fair, that's fair. <laughs> Dude, Maybe what type of sunfish did you catch? <laughs> well, if you have to know, it's a, lo a long ear sunfish and a green sunfish. Okay, the long ear sunfish are the ones with the cool blue dots. Yeah, with so, the really yeah. pretty ones. And then the green sunfish are the ones that have like big mouths, mm -hmm. um, but then kind of like they have the orange tips on their fins. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, within five minutes, I went bam, bam, bam. And I was like, where's Larry? But also semi pro fly fisherman as well. See, I'll take semi pro. <laughs> that's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. You're welcome. Let's do it. <laughs> Footwear. What are we doing today? Uh, same thing as the past three outings. The Crocs. So we're going waders and Crocs. Waders and Crocs. So we're gonna fish only upstream because we're probably gonna spook fish. And the other thing you'll notice is that this is really small water. Yep. So as soon as we're in the water, they probably know we're here. Yeah. So we're just gonna try to be as stealthy as possible. Got it. Ben's taking me to the expert locations and this is my third time ever with a flat rod in my hand. You know how it is. Dude, where are we? <laughs> no so yeah, so we came again. off a little branch of the, the Cahaba. So we this is still like technically Cahaba just run off of it. Yeah, we just figured we need to find a little smaller water where they weren't as Ooh. caged up. Are oh, you up? Yeah, there was a little small bite. <laughs> we're just falling apart right now. One bass eat and we're losing it. Have you got a That's a good shot, there? leave that. Oh, you got oh, is he on it? Oh, can't have that. Great cast, leave it. Just go. Nice shot. Come on, focus, camera. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Pop. Oh no! Why did he do that? One thing I want to show you. So that cast is gonna work because you have a back cast. Yeah, let me get but you know, if you get oh I'm not I'm not gonna if you're stuck in a situation where you don't have any room to back cast, what uh -huh. you can do is lift your rod like that. You yep. see how the line's gonna slide back to me in the water, yeah. snap that wrist forward, and it allows you to cast, oh. casting space. Thank you. Yeah. Been a oh, yes! Yes! Come on! What do I do? Please be a Cahaba. What do I do? Spot? Cahaba? I don't know if that's I don't a Cahaba, know. Just, land, just land it. <laughs> we'll assess. <laughs> oh, I think that's a Cahaba, sir. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> Off of Ben's cast. <laughs> Not on the record. He's fat though, you can tell he's definitely. Yeah. So let me see that profile. Let's see. Okay, yeah, so. He has a hold, little slight blue tint to him. Yeah, so okay. I, they haven't hold been super like blue this. today, but look at that tail fin. That's gonna be one of the things that's a dead giveaway. With the white. You see that white tip, isn't that cool? Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's a Cahaba bass, man. Now, I do have, we can phone a friend if you would like. Do you want to phone a friend? Let's phone a friend. We can call Matt Lewis and make sure that it's legit. Let's call Matt Lewis. All right, I couldn't put him back in the water so he uh, doesn't die on us. Let me not hook him first. No, just keep him, just throw him in the water. Do all the things. <laughs> Hello, can you see me, good sir? I've got Larry with me. Oh <gasps> no, Larry! <laughs> I can't see you. I'm in my truck. Um... <sighs> Well, I was gonna get you to do a species identification, but Larry has uh, has lost the fish. Go! Like Larry's been fishing for an hour and a half. The first cast Ben makes is like, oh, <laughs> So that ledge you see is a little farther up. Yeah, okay. I think that just kind of confirms my theory. <laughs> you all right? You good? <laughs> well, there were fish there. Nice shot. Leave it. Leave it. Okay, micro, micro twitch. That's good. Oh, that's just a yeah. sunfish. Oh, got it. 
That's not the species we're looking for. I see some orange. Sorry, let's... should I shake them off? <laughs> large. Well, I wouldn't say large. I'd say thankful, long ear. <laughs> thankful, for long ear. Thankful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nice. Oh, dude, what was that? Oh, no. That's a red eye, bro. Dude, that could have been a shark. <laughs> or a piranha See, or something. They're not They're not subtle when they're hungry. Golly, that'll get you hooked on a flatfish. <laughs> wow. A little back cast action, Larry, I see you. Well, the one right underneath. <laughs> he did not like that. Rock, for that first pop, be ready to Good to tie it on him. Nice shot. You can make a confident cast in you. I mean, Larry, you freaking, dude, that's slinging it, bro. Ooh, it's awesome. One ate it on the. Yeah, let that, let that live. Who's there? Who's there? Oh, get him, get him. Got him. Oh, it's oh. a bad. Let's go, dude. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a. Is that a, no, I think that's, that's a, a Cahaba, Cahaba, dude. That is a Cahaba. That's oh, a Cahaba. All right, man, let's go. <laughs> Super excited for this, and that was like, we caught three sunfish before this one, and I was kind of thinking what you said earlier about you would think that he would eat first, and then you kind of go back and start yeah. catching the sunfish, but it's a Cahaba bass. We got some fish. Yeah. So yeah. when I strip set, uh -huh. what's my next move from there? Cause I don't raise the rod. Yeah. You can gig them and keep on fishing it in case they come over like yeah. But, but with this one, yeah, like because that. they've expended so much effort yeah. to get the popper, yeah. you just need to nail them like that. Yeah. Our phone of it. Uh -huh. Oh, hold on. You see that little wake? Switch. Somebody's gonna come and mess oh, you up. something behind it, isn't it? Yeah. Here oh, we go. get you some. Okay, let's see, this looks, this feels better now. See, that is a long ear something. You can tell by how long his ear is. <laughs> In the middle. Yes! Ooh, another sunfish. Thankful size. Why is it a thankful size? Because he's not, we don't believe in mini or micro fish. I believe in thankful fish. So, is this a green sunfish? I got it over the popper. Yeah. I'm a fly fishing release, a proper release since he's a pretty fish. Proper release? Since he's a thankful fish. Swam! Slams him against the rock. See you later, buddy. Dude, that's a shot, Larry. Nice shot. Come on. Come on, fish. Oh, yes, that's him. Oh, got him, dude. Good one. Good. Oh, he came off. No. Really? No, he's still there. Oh, he's still on. No, he's on there. You, what is the plan here? Oh, dude, that's a good one. Good one. What is that, a Guadalupe? <laughs> I've enjoyed this. Um, not just because we're catching fish, it's a different technique. And then also that first bite that I missed yeah. out here, it's like, what was that? But. It's one of those things I feel like the more you do it, it's kind of one of those like love-hate relationships. You could, it's like playing golf. You could throw your clubs in the woods some days, but like some <laughs> days you could be like, my handicap is plus a hundred. I don't know anything about golf that probably Neither just explained that. We did it. We did it. We did it. So. Came out, had found you know smaller water, which I don't know why that worked. It's dry as it's been. Mm -hmm. Why that was the key to getting it to turn on, but caught a bunch of Cahaba bass and then sunfish. Maybe less pressure here. Yeah. You probably see that skinny water when you first get in, and they're like, "There's, there's no, no shot. way." Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, uh, I saw someone like walking their dog, and they were like, they're "Like, I've never seen anybody fly fishing here. I've never seen people fishing." So, 
you know, pressure could be part of it. Yeah. But I don't again, I just, I, I know it's kind of crazy to think, but like that species, that Cahaba bass is found only in this drainage, yeah. nowhere else in the world. And you caught them today. Yeah. Um, three of them. Three two, of them. Dude. Two for sure, then one might be a hybrid, <laughs> but. But got three of them overall and they're just beautiful fish as you saw kind of cool Yeah, it's kind of cool to see all this come for full circle, right? We were in a you and I were in a coffee shop over there. Yeah talking about like how we could do a series about the Cahaba yeah, and Here You and is. John came out and killed it yeah. on the, the that stretch that 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 day that we had and then followed up and saw the Cahaba lilies and got to paint some Cahaba yeah. lilies and and then, and then now we're here at the end. At the end, you gotta come out of that. End of the road. Yeah, I know. At the end of the road. Well, and I was, I was, I was like, man, this has been so much fun. Like, don't. We gotta keep going. We gotta yeah. keep doing it. And so I will put this out there. So you've caught a Cahaba bass now okay. on the fly. You can think about how much you loved it. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> but the first bite, I don't know if it's on camera anywhere, but the first one that I missed, it just looked, it looked like somebody threw a rock in the water. Yeah. 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 And that's that's why we love it. That's yeah. why like. The fly fishermen of Alabama just love fly fishing for red eye bass. They're yeah. mean and they love poppers. Yeah. And so it's so much fun. And but uh, this is coming from somebody that like traditional fishes, spin fishes, as you call it. <laughs> like, I would 100% suggest trying it because, like, when you see it, it's like getting hooked all over again. It's like yeah. that, that fish probably wouldn't have ate like the smallest bass popper that you could find right. that you could right. throw on a spinner rod. But you come out here, this is almost like fishing with like a Ned Rig or like micro fishing. Like, and I've done some yeah. of that on my channel but it's just something about like just that small lure. You're going to catch everything. If you're going to, you're going to leave the creek with something. Yeah. Yeah. But like your chances just go up exponentially, exponentially. Ex I like that better than exp exponentially. Exponentially. <laughs> exponentially going out with just that small little popper. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. I love it. Well, and that's a cool thing. I mean, if I'm going to put my pitch for fly fishing is that you get to throw the smallest thing they'll ever eat, but you can also throw large things. I've thrown a 12 inch fly before. You yeah. can do it. Um, it just, it's a very adaptable method. Yeah. Um, as you've noticed today, like if you're not catching them, you're practicing your casting. Yeah. If you're not practicing your casting, you're stuck in a tree. Like it's a very active, yeah. moving thing. And <laughs> that's why I fell in love with it. I mean, I grew up spin fishing. I love a, my thing was a, a red and black zoom worm was my thing. That's what I loved growing like up. Like a curly tail worm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was my vibe. And, and then I got into fly fishing and I just, I love the hunting part of it. Like we kind of were like going around this creek looking for these fish yeah. and the top waters. I mean, it's so much fun. So. Yeah, I mean, any, anyone who, who loves fishing can learn to love fly fishing. Yep. It's not just for, for trout, yep. it's glass and bass, so. Don't let me, don't let me go start catching four or five pounders on a fly rod. Is it gonna be I, might, I might sell every single <laughs> spinning rod. We got him, we got him. And, set, and I'll probably keep the bait caches, but this might become just like the new spinning rod. There we I'll go. Just start throwing I love up. it. All right, man, this has been fun. Yes, sir, thank you so much. It was a lot I've of fun. I've enjoyed it.